Welcome back to This Is How I Died. Or rather, This Is How I Nearly Died. Uh, neck still bandaged. A little bit cold. We only need to get that carpentry skill up. Um, we're about halfway now. Um, I'm just going to go... It's a, it's a little bit early in the morning and dark. Oh, I guess it's not dark, we just can't see outside. Uh, let's go ahead and look around. I'm really tempted to turn the generator on. Because if there are any zombies around, they're going to be attracted to the generator. So I'm going to connect it now. And we're going to go and fuel it up. I had this thought yesterday. Let's uh, refuel the generator. Okay, take a gas can. Run on over to the generator. We do need some food as well. 81 and going down. Not much food. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, info? Oh, fuel 100%. Never mind. Passed me, obviously, thought about that. And was like, fill up the generator. Which I probably did. Cool. Let's go ahead and take our machete out here. Still got this kind of horrible wound on our neck, but we are back to full health, so I'm a little bit less worried than I was in the last episode. Oh my goodness me, wasn't that an absolute riot. Okay, let's open our three can potatoes. We're still alive, and that's all that matters. So, we'll go ahead and see if the, um, the generator attracts any zombies. It probably won't. I think we got them all. But we do need to clear a little bit of this wood wood away from us because they do tend to wander on in. Uh, today we're going to mostly lay down some more foundations. So we'll go ahead and we'll pop some more floors down. It's going to be the main job. Work out where everything's going to go. Now, it doesn't look like we've attracted any. That doesn't mean there aren't any. Oh dear. Okay, let's go ahead and equip this in both hands. I think we'll chop the first few down and we'll just, uh. Yeah. I guess we'll just sit through it. Looks good. Quick check behind us. I guess we'll do two. We'll do two and then we'll move around a bit. And then we'll do another two. I wonder if we can do like a tripwire trap of something. Like alerts us to zombie presence. I guess we could put broken glass down. We would hear the broken glass. It's looking a little bit better, isn't it? Get a nice, nice area around the house, free from trees. Okay, we'll chop down another one. Take the risk. We are getting pretty, pretty exerted now. If not, I think that's the maximum actually. Okay, I think that's maximum. Let's go ahead and pull the machete back out. Alright. Seems okay. Although the last time we did get interrupted sawing logs, so let's go ahead and saw some more logs. What's the worst that could happen? Maybe I'll put it on um I won't put it on quite on maximum speed for that. Okay, so we're gonna extend the kitchen out to here. And then we've got the garage. So the garage is going to extend down here with kind of like a workshop area here. So I think past the kitchen is going to be the pantry. And I want this to be like a, what we, one, two, three, four, five. I want this to be kind of like a walk-in fridge. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really make sense if the stove is off of the pantry, does it? 
It's gonna be a bit weird. Hmm. Let's go ahead and extend it anyway. The kitchen's gonna come to here. And then I kinda want three, maybe like two as a corridor. Or maybe three. I have like a corridor here. This house is gonna be big. It's gonna be real big. It's gonna be the best house that anyone built in Zomboid. If we live that long. With uh, sticks on the floor and everything. So we've got another wall to build across here. And the kitchen will come out. And then we've got this kind of three, three by three room. Maybe this is the pantry, or maybe we split it and actually one... Yeah, maybe we do like a four deep room with three fridges and two more fridges. Something like that. Just going to have a quick look around. Uh, we need to source some more logs. Um, we'll just pick up these ones for now. That's four more pieces. Go ahead and pop the floor down. So the goal with this is basically just get carpentry up. One six two one takes us to one six two seven. So we get five XP per fifteen D. So it's quite a lot of tiles. Uh, let's go ahead and source some more logs then. It's just I don't want to press the button. I have a real anxiety of it now. Yeah, there's nine more planks. Picking them up really slowly because we are absolutely exhausted. Uh, more floors. So, in order to get to the pantry, we need a door to the kit. We need a door to come out of the kitchen. We were going to put a door here because that's when's our entrance. Our entrance is here, so we definitely have a room here. And I guess this will be kind of like the living area. Maybe we've got the same 3x3 three three corridor, and then we have the living area. Mm, what do you reckon? Yeah, a 3, a three corridor. We can always fill it with stuff. Okay. And then we're going to go map out the, uh, the living quarters. So it's going to start here. And I kind of want like a... I don't know... At least they're like a 9x9 nine nine room. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six. That'll be three, four, five, six. That's one bigger than the kitchen. Tempted to make it even bigger. Let's make it even bigger. Let's go luxurious. I hate that the music has started. Are we in like scout mode or something? No. Okay. Let's go ahead and saw some logs then. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. We survived that. So we've got... Uh, let's put our third down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll do seven, eight, nine. There's going to be a big room. I think like 15 by 15. So two more up here. Yeah, which will bring it in line here, actually, which is quite nice. And this will be one, two, three. We'll just draw out this room. See where we come to on the map. Should bring us pretty close. Might even extend it out so we can actually fish from the house. That'd be quite cool. A fishing room. Like a veranda. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's 
Doesn't look like there's anything around. But we said that before, right? Okay, so let's extend it this way then. So we need three more this side. Oh, ran out of wood again. Let's pick some up. I'll just pick these ones up slowly. I think I will turn the generator off again. Doesn't seem to have attracted any uh, any zombies. If we haven't attracted any by now, then there probably are none around. Okay, so oh, let's see my uh, planner. So we've got three. So one, two, three, and then four, five, six. So we need three more this side. That brings us to one, two, three out, so we know that's correct. Okay, cool. So that room's going to extend up there. And I guess we just need to saw more logs. I mean, I can't do much but race through it like this because otherwise it's just going to take forever. So we'll just have to hope we don't die. If we die, we die. We probably won't. We've been lucky so far. I think we've had two two pretty close misses. Uh, we have run out of nails, however. It's quite a lot of nails we've used. Oh, we do have these tree branches and sticks still. I'm going to pop these over here. I don't know why we're carrying these. I think I picked them up when I was sorting out this the inside of this room. I'll just put those in the corner. We have this zombie as well. I kind of want to bury this zombie. There's uh, nearly our death. Nearly the death of us, I suppose. Uh, what am I looking for? I am looking for a... Nails. That's what we want. Nails. And we're going to just find them on the floor. Box of rounds. Katana. Log. Notched plank. Ah, box of nails. That's one box. I'm sure there's more. I really hope there's more. Nails? Surely there's more nails than this. I think there's some boxes on the floor here. This wasn't quite over the top of them. Ah, look, box of nails, 13. <laughs> there we go, we've got 14 boxes of nails, so let's open them all. Okay, that's fine, that's enough nails. However many that was, that's probably enough. 380, sure. <laughs> okay. So we want to build, so we could build a fence, a small fence, a lantern would be pretty cool. Hmm, that is pretty cool actually. Uh, anyway, onto the floors, more floors. So this is going to be a corridor, and then this is going to be the kind of pantry area, which means that extending back here is where the garage is going to be, so we'll drive the cars in here, and then I want a really big area to work on cars. Maybe we should finish one part first. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's let's finish this. I think we probably get more experience for walls than floors, so maybe we should do walls first. Or at least wall frames. Let's check out our skills. Keep that up for now. 1829. Okay, so we can build a wall all the way along here, I think. Maybe this this corridor comes out. And then we've got like a tool area. So wait, that's one. 
Yeah, okay, we'll have a little corner here. And then this will be the backing to the garage. Seems good. Okay, let's go ahead and put some wall frames in. On here. So we've got 1883. Wall frame got us 1893, so we actually get 10 for these. It's probably better to build the wall frames first. And then the wall, whoop, no, I'm gonna place it here. We can disassemble them now. Um, I think I said it in the previous video, but you didn't used to be able to take them apart. That was really annoying. Okay. And we had some more planks in this pile. Let's go ahead and make some more. Once we have carpentry, level 7, we can build some stairs. And then we can put a roof on this building. And that is where we have to be really, really, really careful. Because <laughs> falling off roofs is a surefire way to get killed. This should get our strength up, though. Two more planks in inventory. Nearly two-thirds of the way there, if not two-thirds of the way there. Okay, saw some more logs. We'll pick some more up. Let's have a quick look on the floor. We've got one here. And we've got a couple over here. Ah, come on. Pick them up. There we go. Get that last wooden frame in. Nope. Here. Okay. The kitchen's going to extend one down here. Go ahead and saw these ones up. At least now, if a zombie comes at us, they're going to come through here, right? So we'll get a little bit of warning. And we're going to go ahead and extend the kitchen out. The problem I have with the kitchen at the moment, though, is the... Um, I know it doesn't matter, but the stove is going to be popping into the, um, the, like, the pantry or chill room. So I'm going to move that around for sure. I think maybe having the door to the kitchen here and maybe the stove off to the side. Um, maybe that's a better idea. Anyway, we'll go ahead and put these walls in. I like the look of that. And then more sawing. 4.30. Good day's work. Pop a wood more frame in here. Oh, no. Uh, I want to make a... Uh, no, I want a door frame now. There we go, door frame. So we'll pop a door in here, I think. That's perfect. And then we, don't, we want another door frame here. Uh, nope. Just trying not to build it in the wrong place. Uh, carpentry, door, door frame. Ah, there we go. So one, two, three. I think there. Yeah, there. Okay. It's a little bit hard to see. But there is a method to the madness. We do need to eat something. Let's go ahead and find something to eat. Uh, we can't get out this way. This is a Maybe this is a bad idea, actually, because it's a trap now. I think we can just climb through here, though. Yeah, we can climb over that. That's fine. Go ahead and find ourselves some food in our pile of nonsense. I think we have another bag of food somewhere. Maybe I brought less food than I thought. No, I'm sure there's one big bag of food. There's loads of dry food and things. Uh, I put some stuff in the fridge as well, didn't I? Uh, we've got rice, I suppose. We've got ketchup. That's going to make us unhappy, but 
I mean, I'm fine with that. I guess. Let's eat the canned tomatoes. That'll do for now. I'm reasonably satisfied that we got rid of the zombies here. I probably will give it a scout maybe tomorrow, the day after, just to check. I wonder if they're like somehow secretly drawn to me. So that's going to be a door. We'll drop these somewhere where we can actually see them. Okay. Soaring more planks time? If we get all the soaring done today, we won't have to do any tomorrow, right? It'll be safer. Maybe. Though we did break our scarf. Actually, that's a good point. That scarf did save us. It may be worth putting on another one. I'm going to go and have a check and see what we've got in the bags, because I'm pretty sure I bought another one. Go ahead and sort all seven of these. Okay, that seems good. We're getting there. What could possibly go wrong from doing this at fast speed in a game that I only ever play really, really slowly? <laughs> pretty sure we did bring an extra scarf. Might be worth wearing it because it's quite cold as well. Um, that's a worm. It looks like a scarf, but it's not a scarf. Have a look. Oh, everything is such a jumble. Oh, we brought ear protectors. That's not quite a scarf. Although we could just wear them. They might keep us, keep us warm a bit. I guess it's going to keep us warm. Might keep our head a little bit warm. I'm sure this is fine. Okay, we got time to do stuff still. I think we've got a little bit of time. And we've got lots of planks lying around now, so we don't have to saw anymore. Go ahead and pick quite a lot of these up. And let's go and make another door frame here. Okay, so that's that door. That's that door. And then we're going to have a door here. Nope, not quite. Uh, door frame here. And then we want a wall frame. We'll build a wall along here. I love how this tree has started growing here. Or we Either that or we missed it. Okay, more planks required. Use up a lot of planks doing this. Each one of these is... How many nails are we on now? Yeah, 317. We've got loads of nails. But it's two planks. Does it actually tell us? Oh, it does if I hover over it again, but I don't want to do that. Okay. That's going to be that corner. bed soon. So a wall is two planks, two nails, and carpentry skill. Now we are getting there. Over two thirds of the way now. Guess we can put the wall in here. Here. Excellent. Starting to take shape. Pretty happy with it so far. And then we'll build this round and down to the side. It is getting dark though, so we'll have to go inside soon. Uh, it's one thing I hadn't considered, actually. We do need lights as well. We don't have any lights. Alright, I think that's enough building for today. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, we can't actually get through. We have to jump through here. Sure. 
go ahead and go into our cabin with the flimsy wooden door. Have a little bit of a break. You did good. You did good. Hopefully we're not too cold. Um, we could put the fire on, I suppose. We do have quite a lot of twigs and tree branches. Let's go ahead and fuel it up, I suppose. Let's add... Let's add all the tree branches. And let's... Okay, so that's 10 hours worth of fuel. And let's light the fire then. That will keep us warm overnight. I need a lot of fuel to keep us going, I suppose. Uh, since we uh, we don't have a, a roof still, so let's sleep in the tent. Alright, let's sleep. Let's sleep. Oh, we should probably check our bandage too. Haven't checked on that today. Uh, it's still good. We're still good. There goes the alarm. Ready for another day. Scarf is uh, on the floor. Can't do anything with that. Probably fill up our water. Oh, that took off our winter hat. Oh, I see. Okay, well, the winter hat's probably better. Uh, let's go ahead and fill up our water bottles. Have a quick check outside. Seems clear again, but... Who knows what's out here? And back to building. I think the door to the house is going to be like... We've got a door there which will be off from the garage, and I think our main door will be here. So this will be the entrance to the house. And then the garage will be here, but we can get in through the garage, I think. Uh, let's go ahead and saw these up. Okay, so we want a wall. Do I want the wall to jet out a little bit? we do that, we're going to have a little row of stuff. No, because that's where the... Do I want it out by one? Hmm. I think I'd rather just have it perfect. So, we're going to have a three out from here. I guess we could use that as, like, shelving. Nah, we'll just do it. We'll just do it like this. It's fine. It's fine. We can always build, like, fences and uh, other things to pad it out. So this is going to be the entrance hall. Oh no, don't build it there, put it here. There we go. And then I guess we'll have a door here. Not quite sure where though, I guess in the middle. So the door will be there, so we can put one more wall. It's our last set of planks as well, so we'll have to get some more all these logs up. I think these one of the last piles. Uh, carpentry, wall frame. Kind of went, we're going to have a really nice living space, I think. It's going to be nice and spacious. We're going to have lots of tables and stuff. It's going to be the perfect reward for all that hard work we did. And then we will go on many adventures not dying, and uh, collecting lots of glorious loot to fill it with. That's the plan. We'll have pinball machines and arcade machines. All of the worldly pleasures. So this is the last one. planks and twigs on the floor. Okay, there we go. Carpentry wall, wall frame. Pop that down there. And we'll just fill in this gap. See how our skill's getting on. Nearly enough to do the roof. That's going to be really good when we do the roof. It's going to be uh, mission complete, almost. Because that, will, that will, means we'll be able to be warm. Because it's now... You notice the temperature's dropped to 6 degrees, which is cold. That's real cold. Okay, we can fill in this floor here as well. That's going to get us some XP. Mm. 
I guess we probably want an entrance to the kitchen there, maybe as well. The generator won't be able to stay there. We'll have to move it. Let's go ahead and do the floors. Planks. You can really hear that wind now. The the kind of atmosphere in the game has changed somewhat. It's like this weather is cold. It's cold. We're up to a, a stifling seven degrees. I wonder if I just press F4 instead of F5. Is that just a little bit safer? really close now, just 500 more experience. We'll probably unlock it tomorrow. So we can build stairs tomorrow. And then we do need to go on a, a door scavenger hunt to get some hinges. Okay. Let's go ahead and build the rest of the floor here then. I, think they, I hope they got rid of that bug where the stuff stays on top of the uh, wooden boards. <clears throat> it was really irritating when you could see the grass poking out. Last one. Okay, T600. Really are getting close now. on F4. Two, three, four. Quick scan around. Seems pretty clear. Pick them up. Uh, we've got the wooden door frame here already, so it is just more floors, unfortunately. Not the most thrilling thing to watch, but needs to be done. And it is new. I mean, this is how I'm constructing the house, so it's not just driving around and killing stuff for a change. There we go. So this is going to be the entrance, and this is the hallway. And then this is going to be the living room. This whole big area is going to be the living room. And then up here, we have the pantry. So this is going to be like the walk-in fridge. And then across here, we'll take you to the garage. And then I'm not sure what else. That's as far as I've got so far. I did say we were going to build it as we go. And there might be stuff we have to change as well. I'm not sure if this is the best layout or whether something's not going to work. Just kind of want to get the carpentry skill up. It's going to be the very best thing when we get that. And we can build a roof. Uh, go ahead and build a wall here as well. It's going to get us a little bit more XP. The tree just shook right in front of us. Horrible. It's horrible. I need to clear more trees now. I don't like them being so close. Uh, we'll pick up these twigs and tree branch. I think there's more over here as well. Yeah. Carpentry wall, wall frame, and place. We'll need to build some storage areas as well. Probably put those off the garage behind here somewhere, maybe. For now, we're just going to extend this down. I don't know. This wall could go on forever, to be honest. It's just going to go on and make a really, really big garage where we. I want to be able to park three cars and maybe work on a, a fourth. That's how big I want the garage. There should be a door. Did I put one in here? No. Okay. There's no exit there. Uh, there's a few miscellaneous ones here, so we'll pick these up. There we go. Uh, I guess we still have the wood axe as well. We can cut this down. We remove the bush. Okay. 
bush gone. Did that drop twigs? Oh, I guess it did. Okay. And some random tin cans on the floor. Or twigs. I guess I know we dropped them there, but... Go ahead and cut down some trees then. This makes a lot of noise. Just go ahead and walk around this side. Have a quick look around. Maybe clear all the way. We'll just keep clearing them. I don't like them being so close to the house anyway. And they will just regrow in infinitely. There we go, look. We can actually see. We'll check behind us after this one. There we go. Vision. That's how you know life is good. Check on our bandage. Still bandaged. I think it's probably healed now. I think we'll just leave the bandage on though. For now. Just gonna chop these down manually slowly. We'll just chop them all down. We'll need all the wood anyway. Quick scout around. Okay, so we're gonna bring this all the way up here. axe is going to break soon, but that's okay. I think we have three wood axes, so we should be able to clear a very large chunk. I wonder if this gives us carpenter XP. 2761. 2761, no. So this is just giving us strength. 8789. So this gives us two, two strength points per hit of the tree. Nice, we, ne we nearly got it clear up here. Actually see. Lovely. It's going to be a whole big house. See, that, that just wiggled. I hate it. I hate it. I, I just... If you're going to live in the forest, you need to cut down the trees almost because they just kind of move and then it's like, is there a zombie there? Am I going to die? Okay, let's clear this let's clear this right out side. We'll leave some to grow there, I guess. Okay, that's good. No zombies? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um and we have to clear all of this this as well. Oh we have to think about where we're gonna put the farm. Maybe the farm at the back here, by the pantry. Yeah, that sounds good. So maybe we'll have another door to come in here and we'll have like a farm out the back behind the garage like maybe the farm extends up here actually not really too sure we'll work on that one in a minute and then we can think about where we're going to put our stairs Two o'clock. Got some more good work done today. I'd like to clear a few more trees though. And then hopefully get really close to the next carpentry level, if not get it. To clear these differently, I think. Wood axe is just so good for clearing trees. I don't think it's as good for combat. Apparently the pickaxe is quite good for combat though. I was doing some reading because we did pick one up, but the one we picked up was really low durability. Um, but apparently it's it's quite a good weapon. Surely there can't be any zombies up here, right? It 
It just it just couldn't happen. <laughs> Characters like, no, don't make me chop another one. Okay, I want to clear this whole bit, but maybe not today. Maybe that's enough chopping risk. Uh, we should have some more planks though. We did saw up a bunch. Let's go ahead and pick some more up. And let's do some floors. So we know that, uh, or do we? We know that this was a door. Oh no, this is the door to the living room. And we know that it's uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine by nine. And we've done three here, three here. So we need three more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I think it's three more actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so then there should be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be the middle. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the end. Build these. Kinda looks good, I think. Nine by nine by nine? No, it's bigger than nine by nine actually. I'll count. Okay, let's get some more floors in then. Uh, we can fill in this part actually. It's probably safe ish. I don't think there are any more zombies around. I'm just a little bit paranoid of it but not much that we can do. I guess we could play without fast forwarding at all. That sounds horrible. Uh, let's have a look on the floor. Looks like it's just more logs to saw, so let's saw them up. Okay. We would be a little bit more efficient at this if we dropped off the twigs and the other stuff that we picked up. Probably will do that though, before tomorrow. We're so close, look at that, 2899. Wait, 2859. 2865. Get in there. I'd say it'll probably be tomorrow by the time we get to do the roof. Uh, we're too short from doing this bit. I don't know if we can grab any planks from in here. I guess we can jump out. Uh, yeah, we can jump out and pull up these ones. 21 here, that's quite good. Jump back in. Carpentry floor. Nice. Okay, so that's the hallway done. And we can have like stairs coming up here and here, each side. It'd be pretty cool. Um, I guess we need to extend this floor out this way. Which I'm not, not quite going to be able to do because the trees are in the way still. But I think I want the carpentry XP more now. We'll build it up here. It's going to be a big house. It's going to be lovely. Okay, wooden floors. I guess we can build a wall up here. That's going to give us 10 XP. A nice, relaxing wall building game. <laughs> this game's like, there's no prefabs. You just have to build every block by hand if you want a base built yourself. Probably the most, um, I don't know, brutal way to play this game. <laughs> killed by patience and the thing is if you make a stupid mistake like I did in the last episode just fast forwarding time and I, I I have to I have to say I did think this area was safe so I hadn't been all the way through the woods to check it okay there's our carpentry skill so we're going to immediately go and build um, some stairs 
need 15 planks for stairs. I don't even know if we can carry 15 planks, but we'll give it a go. There's six. Have a look in our bag. None in there. Uh, I guess we can source them up and just move them over. They don't need to be on us. They just need to be where we need them. That's 12. Okay. Where are we going to build the stairs then? Probably here for now. Uh, against this wall. Yeah. I imagine just here for now. Alright, that's 12. And another six. Okay, so we should be able to build carpentry stairs. It's not going to let us unless we have them on us. That's fine. Uh, we can just pop the nails in here, drop the bag. And pick up the rest of the planks. Uh, what's that? Twelve exactly. Sure. Uh, oh, sorry. We need fifteen. I can't even read. Um, let's drop the wood axe then. That's three. Uh, okay. What if we got this really heavy? I guess we don't need the hand axes. Probably, maybe. We have a hammer. We can fight a zombie with a hammer. Okay, we're up to 14. Look at us go. Um, let's just uh, drop the nails. Okay, we'll pick up a plank. There we go. And now we can pick up as many nails as we can carry, which is 10. Is that enough to make stairs? Yes, it is. Fine. Absolutely fine. Right, okay, let's flip them that way. And we'll put them against this wall. Oh, I guess we can't put them against that wall. And I want to put them here. Doesn't actually matter where I put them right now, to be honest. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and drop three planks here. One, two, no, wait, wait, not all of them. Silly game. That's eight. There we go. And now carpentry stairs. That way. Okay, I guess we need a space at the top of the stairs. That's why it doesn't want me to do that. Why can I not build you there now? There's nothing here. Do you not like the floor at the bottom? What's the problem? What's the problem, game? Uh, not sure. Let's think about this. It says stairs. Press R to rotate. They go up, they go down, and zombies go do too. But then it doesn't want to let me place it on the floor there. Am I just doing something really stupid? But if I put it here, it doesn't like that either. What if I put it there? Just not happy. Hold on one second. Okay. I didn't work out how to do it, and then it got really dark. Um, I think I have to disassemble the wall, but I'm not really too sure. Um, so we're going to have another go at that tomorrow. Uh, for now, I'm just going to eat some food. Uh, we're going to tuck into this delicious pineapple, dropping these plank planks on the floor. Uh, yeah, canned pineapple is where it's at. Let's grab half of them. We're going to munch on these. Oh, it's such a. <laughs> we're not even gonna eat. We're just gonna. We're just gonna go hungry. We are just gonna go hungry and go to sleep because I don't want to go outside because it's dark. And we left the can opener outside. And we're cold. Oh dear. We need to really, really finish the roof tomorrow. Okay, okay. Let's eat something. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh my god, why would you do that? Oh, our character is just out for it. Okay. Let's be really careful now. Don't want to mess this up, having come so far. I think we need to build the stairs here. It doesn't want to let me do it because of these walls. So we're just going to take them down. It takes ages. And we're losing wood because of it, but that's fine. 
Okay, so now we should be able to pick up this stuff. Oh, we actually forgot to eat. Let's eat first. That's why our carry weight's so low. I'm so happy that we're finally building our house. I'm just losing all of my, my game focus to stay alive. Okay, let's eat the, eat the pineapple. There we go. That's going to give us more carry weight. Okay, we'll drop the tin cans on the floor. Don't need those. Um, let's go and get the rest of the planks from somewhere. Can't hear any zombies. Okay. Yes. Oh no, wait, one more. There we go. 15. Right, we did it. Now, stairs. We don't have enough nails. Of course we don't. There's nails over here. 46 nails. That's got to be enough. Yes. Okay. Aha! We did it. Okay. We're going to build stairs here. And then we'll build walls behind it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. We got there. We got there. Now, very, very carefully, <laughs> we're going to build a floor. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. 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 Carefully. Right. We need to get more planks. And we're going to build a floor without falling off of the roof. Because if you're carrying a lot of planks and you fall off the roof, this is how you break a leg or you just critically injure yourself. Pick up all of these. As soon as we get the roof on, we'll be okay. We can take it a little bit more slowly. Um, I was kind of rushing through that because we don't have a safe place to be, really. We only have the one door as well. Okay. Now. Let's very, very carefully build a floor. It's probably best if I don't touch the movement keys here. And we actually just let our character build and move to the location. I think that's all I can build here. I know, I can build one more. I've got loads, I've got 10 on me. This is fine. Okay, so now we can come across here. We're going to need one here anyway because we're going to extend the kitchen. The kitchen is the central hub of our house. Okay, so we've got six planks. So we can do five more now. Make a nice big area to work in. Okay. Two more. Okay. A little bit safer already. Right. Now we should go and get our backpack back on. Very carefully coming down the stairs. In case we get injured, we will need the backpack. Pick up the rest of the nails and put them in the bag. Uh, let's re-equip our machete. We don't need the wood axe. That can just stay there. Uh, these can go on our belt left and belt right for sure. Doesn't matter if we can't carry quite as much wood. And then we need more wood. So back to sawing, unfortunately. Let's saw these logs up. bag as well. Oh, we can. Yeah, we can fill that all up. Okay. So we've got seven plus however many we're carrying. Twelve. Okay, that's much better. Okay, let's very carefully go up here. <laughs> Wait for the floor to pop in. And carpentry floor. Here we go. We'll build along here now, just so we've got a little bit of uh, basically double. We've got double space to move. good. And now it's just a case of filling in the kitchen, really. Should be able to get this done today, and I'll have a nice, cosy 
fireplace to keep us warm at night. And then we'll be able to put the bed up as well. Seven. Probably power through this. the seven planks out. Five, six, seven. Should go, uh, we probably should read that carpentry book actually before we do anything else. It's probably a good idea. Maybe we should do that and have a break for today. Uh, I can probably do that in between. Um, in between episodes, so I'll read the carpentry book. We'll just we'll just do a little bit more now. Uh, so we are pretty close, about half uh, halfway, I suppose. Let's go and get some more planks, as if we weren't doing anything else. Uh, there's a few on the floor there. I guess there's six logs. Let's just drill. Let's just saw these up. One, two, three, four. Pick up all of those, uh, and the rest can go in the backpack. And then there were just a few more here, weren't there? We're probably going to need more anyway, so let's saw these up. This is an ambitious project, don't get me wrong. This is like... This is like trying to play The Sims, but in Project Zomboid, and every other Sim is a, zomboy, a zombie, and they're all trying to kill you all the time. Plus, you actually have to feed your character instead of just going to the fridge and wishing for food. Okay, so floor. We're nearly done. Like, we will definitely get this done today. And we can have the, um, the stove on. It's really coming together. It's coming together. You just start off with, like, one little thing. One little room, and then we've just extended and extended. It's only been a couple of days, not taking us long to build this. Okay. Maybe we can have a barbecue area on the reef or something. Hopefully we've got three more. Looks like we should have in our... Oh, did we use all the ones from in here as well? Oh, wow. Okay, we were one short. One short of perfection. Let's go ahead and get one more. Carefully. Carefully, carefully does it. And here's some more planks. Okay, we'll just we'll just take what we need. Oh god, that's terrifying. When they, when you do that, that is absolutely terrifying. Okay, last one. Okay, we have an inside. <laughs> We have an inside. Coming together. So we've got the kitchen here. And then we've got the, the hallway, kind of entranceway. Maybe we'll keep the stairs there, maybe we won't. And then we've got the pantry. And then we're going to have a garage coming down here. And maybe a farm out the back somewhere. And then we'll see what we do over here. Maybe a big, like, terrace area. And maybe, or maybe we'll have, like, a bedroom up here somewhere. Um, with a window so we can drop down or... I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't quite worked out the rest of it, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, thanks for watching. Catch me next time, and we'll be building the rest of this house.